Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be covering five more security industry things you need to know before getting a job in security. And once again, I have another lovely picture for you to look at as we cover this topic. Once again, this is a picture borrowed from a co-worker. And honestly, I wasn't going to make another top five list of this kind. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized it had to be made. Because these top five items are just as important as the previous one. And in a couple of cases, even more so. So let's get into it. Number one, never work retail security. Shoplifters will do absolutely anything to keep from going to jail. And if that means physically fighting with security, some of them will do it. I mean, I can tell you guys some horror stories. Also, there's a concept that some people have a hard time understanding. If you get in someone's way, if you prevent them from going where they want to go, when they want to go, they sometimes turn violent and will literally try to kill you in order to continue on their way. You do not want to physically get in someone's way. And part of working retail security is actually doing that. Especially when there's a suspected shoplifter. I'll never forget the story of a young man served in Desert Shield, served in Desert Storm, got out of the military, honorable discharge, applied to the NYPD, needed a job while he was waiting for his applications to go through, got a job in security, got a job in a retail store that sold t-shirts and other types of clothing. One day, young teenager came into the store and I don't remember exactly how old the teenager was but he was definitely old enough stole a twelve dollar t-shirt tucked it down into his pants tried to leave the young war veteran blocked him from leaving so what does the teenager do? Pulls out a knife and tries to murder. Yep. Tried to murder him. All over a freaking t-shirt. I am not joking. I am not exaggerating. That's what he tried to do. Pulled out a knife and tried to murder the young man who was waiting for his NYPD application to come through. This young man who served in Desert Shield, Desert Storm, came out of a war zone with no injuries. He comes home and this is what he has to deal with. And unfortunately he was stabbed and had to go to the hospital for emergency surgery. And the young man who stabbed him ended up in prison again over a freaking t-shirt ruined his own life and tried to take someone else's over a t-shirt and I'm sorry but this sort of nonsense is common as dirt part of your job in retail security is to physically prevent shoplifters from leaving and if you do that well I've seen guards get pepper sprayed I've seen I mean, it is just ridiculous. Don't put your life on the line for freaking minimum wage. Second thing, never work in homeless shelters. Okay, there are a lot of homeless individuals out there who are genuinely down on their luck, lost a job, can't find a new one, something horrendous happened in their life, they're going through a very hard time, and sometimes that causes people to end up homeless. 
However, there are some people who end up homeless because of severe addiction to alcohol, severe addiction to drugs, and let's be perfectly honest, there are some individuals who belong in mental health facilities getting the care and the treatment they need, but they're not getting it because they don't have the money and can't afford it. I mean, the thing about homeless shelters, especially in New York City, at night, they lock the doors. So you're a security guard, you're working security, you're in a homeless shelter, and you're locked down with individuals who might be perfectly nice people until they drink, until they get that next hit, until their mind causes them to snap. And homeless shelters aren't like prisons. You're not a guard and you're not separated from these individuals by good strong bars. You're locked down in there with them. And that is not a place you want to be. Again, do not risk your life for freaking minimum wage. Third thing, always check your equipment. I used to work with a guard who was very professional, so I never bothered checking the radio that I was issued. And this was at a site where it was two-man teams per shift. So we needed to make sure our radios work perfectly. One day, I get handed the radio. I don't bother checking it until a couple of hours into my shift when I was bored, just happened to glance at it, and what do I see? It's on the wrong channel. And the battery, I honestly don't remember if the battery was nearly dead or not, but I do clearly remember it was on the wrong channel. Maybe it was just the wrong channel, but guess what, if your radio is off, by one channel and the guard you work with is on a different channel, you get into trouble, he's not going to be able to hear you when you call for help. Because when you're in trouble, you're not going to stop to check at that precise moment if you're on the proper channel or not. So this very professional security officer, I don't know what happened that night, maybe he got bored, started playing with the radio, and handed me one where it was on the wrong channel. And quite frankly, he put my life at risk and I didn't appreciate it. But a good chunk of that was on me because I didn't check my issued equipment, the equipment I'm issued, every single shift. And at that place, it happened to be the radio. So always check your equipment at the start of every shift. I don't care if you're working with Mr. Professional. I don't care if you're working with some college kid who's just trying to save up beer money. Always check your equipment. Okay, if you're working the security desk, at most places, the lost and found is basically at the security desk. You get anything at the security desk log it in. If it's something that looks valuable, log it in. If you get a computer bag or a wallet, log in each and every single item. Because, l let me tell you something, if you get something like a computer bag and you don't log in each and every single item, even if it takes you a couple of hours to do so, guy comes back for his bag, he's like, oh hey, I had a travel wallet in here with 500 bucks. It's missing. What the hell's going on? So now he starts a big stink, and he's obviously a liar, but because you didn't log it in, or because you didn't take inventory of each and every single item in the bag, now your job is on the line because this liar wants to make some money off of you. I've seen it happen. 
log in everything turned into lost and found and itemize every single item inside a bag or wallet that's turned in. And finally, number five, one day something will happen. Something will happen one day while you're on your shift and you are going to have to know how to handle it. So if you're trained on the fire panel, make sure you know how to use that fire panel. If there's a specific set of procedures you have to go through, if some sort of a alarm goes off, make sure you know them. Because I guarantee you, you work security for any length of time, one day, unexpectedly, something will happen. So you better be ready. That's very important. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.